Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own highlighter animations. This is one of the most important facts creators like Johnny Harris uses to highlight important information in documents. Some people think that they have to like purchase or download highlighter assets off the internet, but people don't realize there's actually a super easy way to create the highlighter look in After Effects. Before I jump into this highlighter masterclass, I need to let you know that this video is sponsored by my sugar daddy, Squarespace. So you can see here in After Effects, I have uh, brought in this scanned document about the KGB. Here is a cool tip when you're working with images of documents, especially especially if the text is black. If you go over to your blending modes up at the top, if you do classic color burn, the blacks will just show up perfectly and it'll get rid of the whites. I have this cool background here that's like flickering and all gritty, it's very nice. So what we're gonna do is come up to our shape tool at the top here and instead of ellipse, we're gonna do the rectangle tool. At the top, you'll see fill and stroke. We're just going to set the stroke to zero and make sure that the fill is set to normal. The first one I will highlight is top secret. So what we're gonna do is actually create a rectangle over top of top secret here. And I'm gonna change the fill color to yellow, of course. And over in the layers panel, I'll just rename this to highlighter one. And we obviously wanna see the text below this highlighter. And the way we do that is change the blending mode, this one as well, to classic color burn. So now the blacks beneath it will always show up. We can actually start with like the animation of the highlighter animating on. So over in the layers content panel, you can actually select the rectangle here, right here, and that will give you the easiest way to like resize and rescale the highlighter shape. So over in the layers panel, we're gonna drop down rectangle and under transform, you'll see scale right here. Once you select it on scale, you can actually see in the center, we've got the, uh, the anchor point. Right now, when you grab these edges, it's scaling from the middle out. If you hold down Y and click on this anchor point in the middle, you can move it all the way to the left, right here at the very end. So now when you scale it from one of these points, it's gonna scale all the way from the left, which means you can now animate it from the left out like this. So back over here in the layers panel, we'll create a keyframe for scale. And if we go over to the left a few seconds, we can grab this end here and just bring it down to, to this point where you can't see it anymore. You can see we've created these two keyframes for scale. And so over a few seconds, you have this animation just like this. So now with these scale keyframes, we've created the animation of the highlighter coming on to your text. So now how do we make it look like the texture of a highlighter? So in effects and presets, we're gonna type in an effect called roughen and you'll see roughen edges. And we're just gonna bring that on top of our shape layer. And you'll be able to notice there's a subtle difference with how the edges of the shape layer are now a little bit rough. So this is with it, that's without it, this is with it. So when you play it back, you've got this nice highlighter look, but we can make it perfect. So I'll show you the exact amounts that I like. So right here under border, I'm actually gonna change this to 40. You can see this looks a bit crazy here. Like this is a little bit too crunchy looking for a highlighter. So right here where it says scale, instead of 100, we're actually gonna set that to 40 as well. And then right here, stretch width or height, we're just gonna change that to six. So now you can see it's got this great highlighter look. And to make it even more detailed, right here you'll see complexity, I'm gonna set this to five. Actually, instead of five, I'll set it to eight. Actually, if I zoom in really quick and I play with the complexity, you can see that it's just giving us more edge details. Sorry about the car. It's giving us more edge details, the higher up you turn complexity. So this is the look I like, but we can always keep playing around with the scale. You can see just cranking up the scale a lot changes the look constantly. You can bring down border to make it less detailed around the edges, but I like to keep it real detailed. You know, it looks very realistic like that, bam. And of course, because this is a custom shape layer, you can always go back up to fill and change the color. So maybe it'll be red, or maybe you can change it to green. And let's say you wanna just highlight multiple things in this composition, I'll just duplicate this highlighter. Over in the layer contents panel, I'll just select the rectangle and then rescale it to how big I want it, like maybe this right here. And I'll just have to redo my keyframes, but because we've already set the anchor point to the left side, I can just hit create a keyframe for scale here and over a few seconds, just grab this right bit and scale it all the way down like this. And then we can sequence these two sets of keyframes so top secret gets highlighted and then the second line. And that ladies and gentlemen is how you create a custom highlighter effect in After Effects. Now you can make your own journalism videos where you're going through and highlighting important information and documents. This was a nice, quick, easy tutorial today. If you have any questions about this effect or anything else you wanna learn, leave them in the comment section below. And now it's time to thank my amazing sponsor, Squarespace.
I have to introduce to you Squarespace's design intelligence. You might not know this about me, but I have the biggest collection of vintage life magazines in the world, and I want to create a site showing off this American history in a really pretty way. And so with Squarespace's design intelligence, I can create a website that looks perfect and vibey. So with these vintage magazines, maybe some cool vintage looking shapes to show off some covers. A nice color scheme that really matches the dark tones of these magazines. And if I need some assistance, they have award-winning templates. So I actually have a lot of duplicates of these vintage magazines and I want to sell them as collector's items to other people. And what's amazing about that is Squarespace has online stores you can create. So if you have products, whether that's jewelry, plants, vintage magazines, you can create a beautiful online store with Squarespace. And even better, Squarespace Payments is endless. They have all the popular payment methods like Klarna and Afterpay, all the buy now, pay later options. And if you don't think Squarespace is incredible yet, well, how about the fact that they gave me a code to give you for 10% off your first website or domain. So go get a discount on creating a website that will bolster your image as a professional. Really anybody can benefit from having an amazing website. So build it with Squarespace. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.